What's up everybody? My name is Carl. And today is a sad day. Because today we are saying goodbye to the family car. Back in 2015, I made a touching tribute to the Nissan Micra, which at the time was the family car, but it got replaced with this, the 2006 Fiat Gran Punto. And now after almost nine years of owning it, we are now saying goodbye to it. It's uh, currently raining right now, which I'm a little bit annoyed at because I cleaned the car earlier, so yeah. <laughs> Clean the exterior of the car today and it's raining so that's good. I suppose this makes this video a bit more dramatic because this is the last time you're going to see this car and to be honest I'm actually kind of sad about that. Back when I made my Nissan Micro video I was saying that after owning a car for a long period of time it ends up becoming part of the family and this is the same story for this car, the Fiat Gran Punto. Sure, it's taken us to mundane places like work and the supermarkets. We've also been to other places, we've been on trips. I remember making a video to crew for my cousin's wedding and this was the car we took to the wedding. So I'll remember it for that. But also there are some more personal things for me because, well, this was the first car I actually got to drive without supervision. The past two years, off and on, I've been driving this car without having a driving instructor or a family member, and it's given me a sense of freedom. I mean, sure, this isn't my actual car, this is my mum's car, but I'm a second driver. But being able to drive on the open road and, you know, having that sense of freedom was, was fun. I mean, this car gave me that, and I will remember this car for that reason. So let me just tell you a little bit about this car. It's a 2006 Fiat Gran Punto. It's an active model. It's got a 1.2 litre four cylinder engine. It's got about 80 to 90 brake horsepower, 0 to 60 is in like 14 and a half seconds. And the top speed is 93 miles an hour. This isn't winning any supercar races anytime soon, but this is a family car. This is a hatchback. It's a practical family car. It's not designed for that. It might not be the best in its category. Sure, you've got the likes of the Ford Focus and the Vauxhall Astra, for example, but this car has actually been pretty decent for the past nine years. I mean, it's got space in the back for three people. It's got a big boot. And for a run around, which is what it basically is, taking us to A to B, it's been, it's been pretty decent. I think, Aesthetically, this is actually quite a good looking car. Italian design, what can I say? The Italians know how to make a good looking car. It's a pretty standard car. It's uh, it's, it's analog is what I'd describe it as. You've got a five speed manual gearbox. You've got a physical handbrake. These days cars have those digital button handbrakes. It's uh, got a radio, it's got air conditioning. It's, yeah, it's a functional, workable car it's it takes you from point a to point b and it does a decent job i am going to be very sad to see this car go as i mentioned this car gave me freedom uh partial freedom and I will remember it for that, and I don't know what's going to happen to this car next. I know that it's going to be sent to a dealership, got sold for cheap. Um, I really don't know if they're going to sell this to somebody else or if it's going to get stripped down to parts, but I kind of find that quite sad because, you know, this car's done a lot. You know, it's had two previous owners before my mum, and yeah, it's, it's going to be quite sad if they have to strip this down for parts because... That's kind of its end of life cycle in many ways. But I hope it's not. I hope someone else gets to enjoy this car as much as we have. If you're a car enthusiast or a lover of cars, you'll know how kind of sad it feels to let go of a car because 
well, you've created a lot of memories with it, and this is going to be the same thing for this car. You know, not a perfect car by all means. I did say that it's been workable, it's been pretty decent for the past nine years. But yeah, we've had faults and stuff like that. You know what I mean? It's an Italian car. <laughs> but yeah, it, it has had its faults, but it's survived them and it's done a good job. But yeah, to let go of a car is gonna be gonna be sad. Well, before we say goodbye to this car, I thought it'd be a good thing to just start it up one last time. Well, it won't be the last time because we'll have to do it tomorrow when we get rid of this thing. But let's hear that 1.2 litre engine. Ah, uh, what a noise. So mighty. So comment down below if you've been in this situation where you've had to say goodbye to a car and it's been sad. What car was it? And what was the hardest car for you to let go of and give your reasons why? This is going to be gone and it's going to be sad. All good things must come to an end, but there's always going to be a new beginning. And that's all I'm going to say. Like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!